example 3.7 determine the current in each branch of the network shown in figure now network is given to you the components connected their values are given to you as well as the currents in each branch that is also given to you now see this one is your network and you have to find the current through each branch now here the total number of currents which are unknown are given to you i1 i2 and i3 so easily you can understand when three unknown currents you want to find it implies that you have to prepare three equations it implies that you have to consider here three loops now let's start suppose first we consider loop a b c a so a to b current is i2 through register 4 ohm we are moving in the direction of the current so here the potential difference is taken minus 4 i2 then after b to c so 2 ohm register current through it that is given to you i2 plus i3 and we are moving in the direction of the current so the potential difference 2 into i2 plus i3 that is taken negative so minus 2 i2 plus i3 then after c to a so through register 1 ohm you are moving in the direction of current i1 so potential difference minus 1 i1 and through the battery you are moving from negative to positive terminal of the battery so plus 10 that is equal to 0 now simplify this one and prepare the current in terms of i1 i2 i3 clear now consider another loop a c d a so a to c you are moving through this battery from positive terminal to negative terminal so minus 10 then through register 1 ohm you are moving in the opposite direction of current i1 so potential difference plus 1 i1 then c to d you are moving in the direction of the current i2 plus i3 minus i1 through register 2 ohm so potential difference here minus 2 i2 plus i3 minus i1 this one then after d to a you are moving in the opposite direction of the current i1 minus i2 through register 4 ohm so potential difference plus 4 into i1 minus i2 that is equal to 0 again simplify this one and prepare the equation in terms of i1 i2 and i3 say this is equation number 2 now consider third loop that is b c d e b so b to c you are moving in the direction of the current i2 plus i3 through 2 ohm register so minus 2 into i2 plus i3 the potential difference is taken then c to d you are moving in the direction of the current i2 plus i3 minus i1 through register 2 ohm so again the potential difference that is negative minus 2 into i2 plus i3 minus i1 then d to e to b so you are moving from negative terminal to positive terminal of the battery so 
potential difference is taken plus 5 volt and resultant that is zero when you reach at b again simplify this equation and prepare the equation in terms of i1 i2 i3 say this is equation number 3 now we have three equations and three unknown currents i1 i2 i3 now you all are aware about elimination method so by using elimination method, you have to find I1, I2, I3. And finally, you will get I1 that is 2.5 ampere, I2 that is 5 by 8 ampere, I3 that is 15 by 8 ampere. Now, current through each branch. So see, suppose we take a current in AD branch. So that is I1 minus I2. So current I in AD branch, that is I1 minus I2. So that is 2.5 minus 5 by 8. And now whatever is your answer. So in this manner, you have to write current through each branch of the network. Clear to all of you.